Hello. Good morning. How you doing? Hey, I'm here to ask you a couple questions. Let's rock. This building is amazing. How old is it? Uh, built in 1910, so 109 years old. I think my math is correct. Nice. What time did you wake up this morning? Uh, a little bit later than I would want. I would say 5.30, 5.40. Morning person or <laughs> night owl? Uh, morning and night owl, unfortunately. So what's the first thing you notice about meeting someone? Uh, someone's firm handshake, like a firm handshake. You have great style. What's one thing that complements your boss look? Uh, today I'm in jeans, so I don't have great style today, but normally I would say watches, tie and handkerchief. That's what sets a man apart. Do you collect anything? Watches. Hublot or Invicta? Uh, I love both. Uh, if I were to say which one I have more, I would say I have more Invicta. I probably have like 50, that's just way too many. So, tell me a little bit more about this office. Uh, let's come on in. This is where the magic happens. This is where the brainstorm happens. Uh, if we're here in the conference room. I love the jerseys. If you attempted to play a professional sport, what would it be? I love football, basketball, but I would say basketball. What's your favorite sports team of all time? Come on now. Look at that. We got the Lakers. Who is Showtime. Your <laughs> Who's your style icon? I would say George Clooney is a man and David Beckham. That guy has some nice style. Hey, Who is that? Mom. ¿Qué pasó, madre? ¿Cómo estás, hijo? Muy bien, mamá. ¿Cómo está todo? Bien, acá. Todo bien. Gracias a Dios. Está bonito el día. ¿Qué pasó, mamá? ¿No vas a venir ahora? Sí, sí, sí. A ver si traigo los niños. ¿Quieres que te traiga los niños? Ok, ándale pues para hacer unas enchiladitas. Ok, perfecto. Enchiladitas con unas tortillas recién hechas. Okay, love you, mom. Thank you so much. Okay. I love you, Miko. Bye bye. What's going on here? Are we asking questions? Yeah, we're asking some questions. <laughs> Let me ask you some sports questions. Go ahead. Super Bowl just happened. Oh, man. All right. We'll see what you got. All right. Magic or Bird? 80s. You know, I was born in the 80s, but big Magic and very Bird. Who do you, who do you like? I hate Bird. Bird's the man, but I hate Bird. I would say Magic all day. Magic all day, huh? All right. What about Shaq or Kobe? Kobe. Kobe, 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 Kobe. Shaq won the finals MVP. It doesn't matter. Time. Kobe was clutch. Joe Montana, Niners, or Brady? I'm a 49er diehard fan, but I would say Tom Brady is the GOAT. He had less to work with and just went to the Super Bowl. Montana? Absolutely, man. Four time Super Bowl Mr. Champ. Clutch. Mr. Clutch. MVP? LeBron Mr. Clutch. or Jordan? Get out of here. Get out of here. This is Jordan. He's lost too many times. Lost too many times in the finals, created super teams to get to the finals. Uh, was in the East when it was really soft. I would say Jordan, hands down. Isaac, you're stealing my interview. I'm going to have to kick you out. <laughs> what is your best habit? Uh, best habit, I, I would say um, giving to people. Love to give. What is your worst habit? I uh, don't know when to stop working. Sometimes I'll work too long. Do you have a hidden talent? I'm a singer. I, I love to sing. Nice. Movie that has made you cry? Uh, I would say Lion King back in the day, but a uh, movie that's making me emotional would, would say Coco. I love Coco just because my kids love Coco. My little son plays his guitar that my dad bought for him, so love that movie for my son. That is so cute. Do you have a go-to workout song? Uh, I listen to salsa, hip-hop, rap, gospel, everything in between, whatever my, my mood is in. What is your spirit animal? Spirit animal? Uh, I don't have a spirit animal. My dad, I don't think my dad would appreciate that. He's a pastor, so there, there's no spirit animals in our household. What is the best gift you've been given by an agent of yours? Hands down, I got a record player in the reception area that plays old vinyl record players. Record players. Nice. What book are you currently reading? Several, uh, but I would say one that stands out to me, the one I read today uh, when I was in the restroom, was Automatic Millionaire by David Bach. Do you prefer audiobooks, iPad, Kindle, paperback, or hard copy reading? Uh, hard copy, easy. I like to highlight, I like to write my notes. Do you have a favorite book? Favorite book? Uh, the Bible. Easy. So, who is your biggest inspiration? The uh, biggest inspiration would be my daughter, Aviana. She has autism, but she does not care what people think. She is an amazing, beautiful spirit, and I just love her. She's a fighter. Do you have a favorite vacation spot? Anything where I'm in shorts and there's an umbrella over my head and a pineapple drink in my hand. What about trips? What's been your most rewarding trip? Uh, hands down was my most recent trip that I took with my, uh, my brother and my, my parents. So we took them to Alaska and Canada. It was a bucket list trip for my dad. He's been always wanting to go to 
um, to Alaska and Canada. Sounds like an adventure. What's a perfect day for you? Perfect day for me would be pretty simple. Wake up really, really early, uh, work out, come in, work hard, uh, tend to my agents, see what they need, and then finish out my day by just hugging and kissing my little, bit, my little kiddos at That's the end of the day. Do you have a favorite comfort food? Uh, you just heard it right now. My mom, enchiladas, tacos, gorditas, whatever my mom makes is delicious. That sounds good and I'm jealous. <laughs> what are the top traits you inherited from your parents? Uh, spirituality, uh, being grounded in my faith. Uh, I would say uh, being given to others. And then just uh, um, uh, serving, I guess, serving the community. Describe your mom in three words. Uh, giving, nurturing, and also selfless. Describe your dad in three words. Oof, uh, that one's a little bit more difficult. Uh, disciplinarian, uh, highly intelligent, and he's super passionate about people. Is it true that you are an NYU grad? Yes, yes I am. That is so impressive. What's one thing you've learned during your time in New York that didn't come from a book? Uh, just how to order a bagel at a bagel shop. I got rejected my first day there when I ordered a bagel. I was asking him for, uh, what do you suggest? And he kicked me to the back of the line. So you gotta be aggressive even when you're ordering a bagel at, in New York. Wow. What's the best part of living there? Uh, the people, the diversity, you are literally just a number. They don't really care about your color of skin. Everyone's uh, just there to uh, make money and just uh, get after it. I love that. And what do you think is the worst part about living in New York or the biggest misconception about New Yorkers? The biggest misconception about New York is that everyone is rude. They're not all rude. And the one thing I hate about New York was all the trash and not being able to park a car in a garage, that's sadly. Wow. Hey guys, what are you guys doing? What's up, We're guys? asking the boss 65 questions. Look at this guy. Look at Questions. this guy. Look at this guy. I got I got Hi. I love it. What advice would you give a new agent like myself? Uh, dress like that, number one. Number one. Number two would be um, don't take yourself seriously. And number three would be get a mentor and pick up the freaking phone and call. Sounds like I'm doing good. <laughs> yeah, you look good, man. So uh, what's your favorite part of this career? My favorite part of my career would be just helping others and seeing people like yourself. You're my former football player, just grow and blossom and just kill it in the industry. That's where I get most rewarded from. So, so if you're not a broker, what's your, what's your dream job and why? Oh, uh, pretty easy. I think I would be a ESPN sports anchor, but in Spanish. Reportando con ustedes, uh, Ricardo Moreno, ESPN Deportes. Canal 26. Canal 26, <laughs> all right. Okay, so... Uh, what is your nerdiest quality? Uh, nerdiest quality, you guys probably make fun of me all the time. I, I think I'm too analytical. I love numbers, I love to analyze, so I would say analytical. This guy actually cracked the Zillow code, <laughs> so call them. <laughs> Thank you. I'll see you guys later. Thank you. So, what was your first job? First job, I had uh, an amazing job. I was a busboy at Carino's um, on the west side of El Paso, making $2.13. Wow, humble beginnings. An hour, yeah. So, Rick, I want you to write down one real estate term that everyone needs to know. Ooh, uh, all right. Let's see. Leveraging, nice. Leveraging your time, money, effort, leveraging. What's the best way you decompress after a long day? Bino, Cabernet or Merlot. Okay. What would most people not suspect about you? That I'm actually a pretty fun and easygoing dude if, once you get to know me. Magic or comedy? Comedy. I love to laugh. What makes a house a home? Uh, mom's home cooking. The smell of mom's cooking just makes it, makes it home. Yep. Hardwood or stamped concrete flooring? Uh, I would say hardwood. I love hardwood. FHA or conventional? Uh, the one that provides most down payment, that way a buyer could have uh, instant equity built into the home. Uh, so I would say more often than that it's going to be conventional. Resale or custom built? I would say resale. The only time I would suggest you building a custom built home is if it's going to be your dream home or if you don't have the cash flow to make repairs on a resale home. So that's when I would say build your new, your new home. Mountain views or valley tranquility? Mountain views for sure. One story or two? Uh, one story. I like the open concept layout, so one story. What's one thing you wish home buyers stopped doing? I wish they would stop asking their tia, their tia, their comadre, their relative, their dog, their cat for advice on real estate, especially in the, during the buying process because they do not know what to do. That makes sense. What's one thing you wish home sellers stopped doing? Clean your freaking home. Clean your home. That's <laughs> the, the most important thing. And number two would be uh, 
uh, leave before showing. Um, you are not the negotiator. Just, just go ahead and leave. That way the buyers could do and, and discuss on your home and give you the best offer. That's a great idea. And it almost seems obvious. Lowe's or Home Depot? Lowe's. They're a little bit more organized. Tequila or whiskey? Uh, we'll say whiskey. What do you think is a skill that can never be mastered? Uh, golf. One day you're doing pretty well and the next day you bomb. So I would say golf. East or West Side El Paso? Anything that has a mountain view. So. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. What is one thing you've learned as a broker? Uh, not to take yourself too seriously when you're negotiating on a deal. Um, you're going to be meeting the same agent on the next deal or if the deal goes well or if the deal bombs. So I would say that and um, uh, just being given to other people. What's your biggest goal for 2019? I want all my agents to double their production. So my goal is to be just a support network and nurturing what they're doing. And lastly, what is one thing that stays with you after every transaction? That one's hard. Gray hair. A lot of gray hair. A lot of gray hair. <laughs> that would be it. Rick, thanks so much for your time. Have a great day. Thanks so much. <laughs> What's up, dude? What's up, Rick? Your clothing, so which one? Uh, we'll see the dark one. You look good, man. Right, thank Sounds you. Sounds good, man. Congrats.